Let's take a look at the basic widgets that we'll be releasing right at first when this climate and scenes and weather, which we went over. You also have video, which is very similar to music, other than you're controlling a video source and the display of the TV. You also have your lighting and the music, which we've already gone over. You have security, which we'll be releasing right up front, as well as cameras, and then the home theater, which once again is similar to video, other than you've got the extra component of the surround sound receiver that we'll need configured and set up. Now, once the product is released and we're able to develop more time on these uh, future widgets, notice that there'll be energy and shades and pool and spa timers and some custom capabilities within the design of these screens. And so those are some of the widgets that you should be expecting and third-party systems that you should be able to interface with. Now, let's talk about profiles. Now, profiles is a huge part of this system because of how it makes it simple and easy to use this uh, Equinox station. Now, first off, what a profile is, is it is a collection of widgets. So the profiles can also be set up based on a user, time, the space, or function. So examples, you could have mom and dad and kids and guests. So four different profiles with the widget set up, one of each type of widget or Maybe they own only three widgets of a certain type uh, under kids profile, whereas the guests only have one access to lighting and music. You can totally control what the profile has or widgets that are available within that. So as you can see, you could use space and time um, functions. For example, a, a guest or a maintenance mode where it has limited amount of uh, widgets that are available. Even languages, you could jump between English and a Chinese uh, profile with different widgets available depending on uh, who might be using that in, a, in another language. So in this graphic, this kind of shows you, you know, I've got mom with five different widgets that are available, the ones that she wants to have control over. Dad has the whole entire house on there because he wants full function and full control. So, um, Simple and easy to use. In fact, let's jump to a demonstration and, and mess with this right now. So here we are back within the uh, live view of this app. Now notice in the top right hand corner where it says dads and shows a drop down arrow, which shows you that I can grab more things underneath there. Now within this, I just have two uh, profiles built, but I can quickly select the office profile and notice that the zone changed under the music with the source that it was playing, the lights changed, the order of where uh, cameras and other things like that, and I also have a limited amount of uh, widgets that are available under the office versus if I jump back and want to get to dad's profile here, now I have full control of all of the different widgets I have available on this system and my audio changed, my lighting changed, I could even have my weather. All of these different widgets could change dependent on the location or the person and things like that. So hopefully you can see, instead of me having to go under music and let's say I'm in the kitchen dining area and instead of needing to go to the music for example, which in, in, the, in the old scenario, right, I would have to go into the music, I would have to get the music playing, and then I'd have to change from this zone that it's in and go to another zone. With this, a simple tap and go into the different profiles and change which profile I'm in. I could go from kitchen to dining and very simply be able to be in control of all the lighting as well in that area. So instead of having to come here and now jump back to the other zone, I don't need to do that. I've got full control within the profiles and moving it back and forth. So hopefully you can see and start utilizing that as a, uh, the tool that the clients will be able to personalize this screen for themselves and for the areas that it's in and so forth. So at a quick glance, let's talk about consistency. As you can see, as you look across this family of product, now you can see how the widgets 
all are consistent with each other. Scenes uh, on the 7-3 resembles what the 4-0 looks like. And as you can see, the 4-1, which is next to the 4-0, is a full widget uh, touchscreen. It's just in that smaller form factor, one widget at a time, as opposed to three widgets like the app and the 7-3. So um, hopefully you can see and, and feel and get an idea of how this consistent look and feel across the board is going to make uh, things more simple for your clients uh, when they go to multiple homes and they have vantage in both of their houses they won't have to give you that phone call and say i can't quite remember what we did here in barbados so as you can see uh, consistency is something that we strive very hard for on this product line now um, let's wrap up we're going to go through bringing it all together we'll talk about uh, setup We'll mention Premier Partners, uh, we'll discuss uh, licensing, how simple the installation is, and then we'll talk about how we feel we delivered on that unmet need. So first off, time efficiency. Like I said at the beginning, I don't feel like I, as an installer, I ever made money on a touchscreen because of how much time it took to program and put all of the design and layout and everything into those touchscreens, even using the library tool where I would try to cookie cutter and repeat as often as possible, it still took a lot of time. We are in a changing industry. There's always a new Blu-ray player. There's always a new source. There's always this, there's always that, which creates uh, more challenges for us and the in the custom world. And so what used to take days now it takes hour of time. What used to take weeks takes days. I mean, it's very quick to be able to put this together in the software. Basically, and we'll get into this in the class when you come in and go to training, but basically whatever I did on the rack, the wiring that I had to do, the associations that I had to do with the rack, I need to make those assignments within the software of Design Center and then auto build the widget of music and video and thermostats and I mean all of those different things automatically build it is such a powerful tool hopefully you guys can see how excited I am for this and why I think it's important and why you guys should be excited about it is because you actually now can make money on a touchscreen and give your clients an amazing user experience that they will be able to appreciate understand and remember how to function and work so Premier Partners, um, as you can see, it's a large list, uh, quite a number of products within each one of these manufacturers are part of the Premier list. The drivers are definitely important. It'll make your installation and the seamless operation so quick and easy if you use the correct products. Now, for example, with Blu-ray players without a discrete power command, I don't want to deal with the issues and the homeowner doesn't want to deal with the issues of that. I can look at this list and I can say, look, I'm going to use the Nuvo music port or the autonomic box or the mosaic as my whole house source system so that I can have full control and very simply, easily put this system together for you as a client. Very simply, easily put this system together for you as a client. So now let's talk about licensing. First off, the system gets configured into the center just as it always has. Um, Every time you add a 70 or a 41, one of our uh, Ethernet-based touchscreens, the ones with the full capability, it adds an additional license for things such as apps and things like that. Now, you have several options. If you have enough 73s and four ones on the project to uh, run all of the smartphone and tablets that the client has, then you do not need any additional hardware. Um, but if you have a project where more licenses are needed, then you can buy a SD card, which would allow you to have either the five, 10, or a limited amount of licenses. Now, the SD card does need to be uh, in, it will be writing your backup flash onto this, as well as having the licensing on this. So this is how this comes together. You, um, the app is free and downloadable. The 73 and the 41 do not need any additional licenses. You buy the hardware from Vantage, they don't need any additional licenses. What does need licenses are all third-party type of touchscreens and tablets and smartphones and things like that. For example, I've got below here, I've got two 73s and 141 in this example. That means I've got three iPad and tablet and iPhone and Android, etc. that could be on this system at any given time. 
Now, something to keep in mind, this is called a floating license. And so if, for example, I get a new iPhone that comes out, I discontinue using this one, the app is no longer connected to the system, I can connect a new one, no problems. I didn't use up a different license, it's basically one for one replacement there. Keep in mind that this is a uh, SD card that is movable, it's not bound to a specific project as well. And so let's say the client starts with a five license and ends up wanting to move to the 10 or the unlimited license, that's not a problem. Swap out the card, do the reprogramming so you've got your things on the backup flash and that card now is usable for you in another project. So installation, first off, let's talk about quantities. Uh, the Equinox 4.0, this is station is Vantage Station Bus. Um, notice that it had limited capabilities compared to the 4.1 and the 73, not full widget, mini widget, but this does reside on Vantage Station Bus, so very powerful station. Um, notice though that it does draw more power than any of our other keypads. So for example, on a 24 volt controller, I can only have 11 of those devices on the entire system. And that would of course mean that I couldn't have any other keypads. And so that is a maximum draw of the power of that 35 watts that's available on the 24 volt. Notice with the uh, 36 volt, that would definitely be the controller of recommendation because it's got a much, much larger power supply. I could have up to 42 uh, four zeros in one project on a specific Infusion 36 volt controller. Now, something else to keep in mind, the 73 and the 41 are limited to 60 unique Ethernet bus devices per uh, controller. So that is just a standard Ethernet type of limitation. Now, where would I put these? Keep in mind, the 4.0 has zone control, not whole house control, right? With its mini widgets of the audio and uh, things like that. Now, granted, I could do a whole house scene control, but we're talking the audio and full functionality. So that would be one of those things that I would put in some of the sub rooms or like a guest area or things like that. Whereas with the 4.1 and the 7.3, now I have full control, full capabilities of all the widgets. And so ideal locations for those would be typical ideal locations where you would normally put a touch screen, your kitchens, your master bedrooms, that big common area where you wanna have full control of the systems. Now let's take a look at 73 hardware installation. First off, you've got your standard install kit for uh, pre-rough-in type of uh, installations where you can mount this correct directly onto the uh, stud. You also have a retrofit uh, ring which you can use in a couple of different ways. You can cut it in to the sheetrock and it'll clamp onto it and then uh, you can patch around. Notice the uh, wider uh, bevel around that edge uh, is riveted with the holes to allow sheetrock patching and things like that so that, that can be finished. Now keep in mind the power for the 41 and the 73 type of touchscreens, these Ethernet based devices um, can be either the 12 volt power supply that's already there with the 650 or you can use a power injector um, so PoE over Ethernet. So uh, those are the options for installation. So hopefully you can see and, and get an idea. If you haven't had a chance to experience this, talk with your RSMs, talk to your reps, and get your hands on the app and get a chance to play with this. This is an amazing system. You've got the single layer, first layer control that allows the client to really do a lot with that first dashboard. You have the always on, always there scenario where this touchscreen instantly wakes up, no waiting for the iPad app to launch and things like that. So it's a very powerful system. Uh, cost effective compared to an iPad with a dock. You're a little bit more money than that and you actually get to make money and have a device that's fixed, permanent, looks great. It's aesthetically pleasing with the rest of the product line. So keep those things in mind. Also remember that this is a native Vantage product. Uh, so it has the standard warranties that go along with the touch screens. And so um, hopefully you can see what a powerful tool this is now going to give you to be able to uh, allow the homeowners to have better access and control of their homes and their systems and feel empowered to be able to adjust and tweak and 
personalize their screens with the profiles and things like that for their better use. Thank you.